Hey, Malia, how are Hello. you? I'm fine. Thank you. And you, how is it going? Great. It's so good to see you. And thank you so much for agreeing to be the first for our Real Talk Chat with Scientists. I'm so excited. It's a new project. And here you are. So just openly, willingly available. So yeah. thank you so much for being available. No, but thank you for like inviting me, you know, I mean, I, I usually don't speak so much like, and now with this uh, sanitary crisis, I mean, you have to take some yeah. distance. So thank you for allowing me to speak. Yes. Uh, and yes. I'm so happy. Thank you, Adrienne. Yes. So tell us a little bit about yourself as far as your research and how long you've been at the IGB. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's something that I do every day. So that's fine. Uh, so I joined the AGB in, two, uh, yeah, in 2018. So two years mm -hmm. and a half ago. Okay. Uh, and it's a, it's a real, real pleasure and real honor because I'm working with Archaea. So I am to the right place, like the House of Archaea uh, yes. and like the Carl Woods Institute. I'm so, I'm so happy about that. And in a general way, I started like uh, my PhD working on like a fabulous microorganism. Uh, it's an extremophile, Sulfolobus. Okay. It, does it sound like familiar to you? It sounds very, very extreme. And exotic, right? Yes. So, yeah. Very yes. intriguing. Yes. Uh, so it lives <laughs> at uh, at um, high temperature and low pH. And what I try to, to do uh, through my uh, different um, research positions uh, is to understand how the cells uh, are proliferating and especially the cell cycle of it. Uh, so it's it's super fun. Uh, it's super tricky. Um, and uh, but it, yeah, I really love it. This is awesome. what I'm doing. Great. Thank you for your contribution. We appreciate that as a scientist. Okay, so just to have a little fun with the questions here in the chat. Let's say you have a million dollars. You can give it to any charity you want to. What okay. would that charity be and why? Uh, so I prefer odd number. So if I can have two will be great first. Okay, uh, yeah, I I'll, I'll work ask. on that. Yeah, yeah, you didn't say, okay, would you, would you want more? But if I can ask, I ask, you know, and I, I think it will be me. And that's why I'm, I'm asking for two, because as a postdoc, we always have to ask for money. So yeah, it's not oh. for me personally. I don't want to buy yeah. a house or anything like that. It's just, like, okay. yeah, because I, I don't know where I will work. So I cannot buy a house, but uh, so far, but it's for like promoting the early career uh, postdoc, because mm -hmm. we always have to search for money. So if you give me an amount of money, I think it will be for myself. And maybe 10% for homeless people and uh, shelters, oh. like for animals. Yes. Because, I, yeah, I, through my career, I have to move from place to place. So I feel sometimes a bit homeless, like I don't have a fixed home. Uh, so I think it would be for, for them. Yes, 10% for them. That's great. That's why give me two. Yeah, give they, me two. They will I'll work more. on the two in the meantime. Great. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right the best piece of advice you've ever been given and who did you receive it from? Hmm. Uh, so this, it will be quite um, easy as an answer. Um, it's, a, it's not an advice per se, it's more like an attitude that my dad, um, yeah, he teach me that uh, uh, by, by behaving, you know, you, you watch people around and you can take some, some of their uh, attitude. And this is, um, he taught me that you should always take the positive side of everything. Uh, we are facing like a really critical time nowadays, but uh, before the COVID, we, everyone has to meet like or encounter some bad decision or bad news or bad people. Right. So you always have to, okay, take a step back and take the positive of the situation. It looks tricky, but you should take something good from it. So this is, uh, yeah, the thing that I apply every day and yeah, my dad. Great to piece, him. great yep. piece of advice. And it sounds like he's a very optimistic person. Yeah, yeah, yes. I didn't talk to him for a while now, but yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question. Yeah. Would you rather be the smartest, being that you're mm -hmm. a scientist, or the funniest in a room full of people? Full of people, uh, whatever, like uh, if they are scientists or yeah, yeah, we, we don't, yeah, full of people. I think, I think it, I, I like challenge. So I okay. want to, I would be, I would prefer to be the funniest. It's okay. like, 
yeah, it's so challenging to make the people laugh because you don't have the mm-hmm. same sense of humor sometimes. Right. But I feel like joy is, yeah, is something that I would prefer to spread. Uh, smart, yeah, it's, yeah, it depends the topic that you pick. So you will look smart, you, you, you will seem smart or you are smart, but the funniest will be more challenging. So I, will, I would like to be the funniest. I will try at least. I like that. Laughter is good medicine. So I enjoy laughing and my laugh is loud. So. Oh, me too. <laughs> oh, we have something in common. I bring the noise. <laughs> All right. Last question. Yep. What is next on the horizon for you now that you're, um, you know, what are you doing? Research is almost done. So what's next? Uh, what's next? Uh, so if you want to see my schedule, I have like a PCR running. Uh, oh. So yeah, this is the thing that I will take care of uh, today. Um, okay. But after I have also uh, to think about uh, my fellowship, which is uh, uh, ending uh, quite soon. Uh, so it will be to finish the project and to uh, start to to search for a new position. If you want to stay in the academic game, you okay. have to find another uh Position. So that's why if your offer of 1 million is still available, I will take it. So yeah. Thank you, Adrienne, for your offer. Let me go find that 1 million. Oh, sorry. <laughs> extra, the extra. <laughs> Thank you, Moe. I so Thank appreciate you, so you. See yeah. you later. Yeah, see you.